I'm an addict for sneakers, 20s of Buddha and bitches with beepers in the streets I could reach her about Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Nature Below G, often imitated, never duplicated, breaking you the best on PC game. Yo, before we go any further, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, ring the hell out of that notification bell so you can stay in tune with all the things that I got coming for you. Got another video for you. Now, this one, it's a little different, a little left field for the kid, but I do have them in hand, and I did want to talk about those shoes. I ain't did a review on them. Why not do one? Shit, so I'm going to do it. We got these joints right here. Let's go. Boom. This. You can't even see what's on the box. All white box, but if you can tell, this that ivory part joints. Yo, this is a size nine and a half. One of my subscribers gave these to me. They wanted me to review them, so I'm gonna review them. Let's go. Let's get into it. First, let's show the shoes. Bang! Whoa, yo, we got the I. Whoa, holy shit! This, what is this? What is this? What is this? And that this is pretty cool. I didn't even peep this. Uh, taking them out the box for the first time, yo. This is the Ivy Park Night Jogger. Yo, this shoe is it's not bad. I kind of like the colorway, but we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna take it to the table. We're gonna get up close and personal with it. One of the questions I do want to ask is, did Adidas, did the brand wait too long to get this done? You know what I mean? You know, the Ivy Park brand, you know, she headed to some other stores. I think it was a situation when she ended up pulling it. They ended up doing this big deal with Adidas and it was a big thing. Like the rollout was really nice. But did this, uh, did the Ivy Park brand, I guess with Adidas, the sneakers dropping, did it have that impact that we thought it would have? That's the question. We're going to discuss that further at the end of the video. But let's go ahead, take this to the table, get up close and personal with the shoes and look at the nice the fine details of this joint. Let's go right about now. Boom. Okay, so we got this Ivy Park situation right here. First of all, let me uh take this thing off of here. Hold up. All right, cool. So we got that off of there. The shoe itself is like really clean. I'm turn it down. The shoe itself is really clean. Um, got this nice tongue right here on the front of the tongue. You see that Adidas branding. Um, says Adidas there, all the way around. Nice like lacing system. It's pretty cool. Um. Boost all the way around the shoe. Got the ivy part. I mean, well, the ivory like colorway, I guess. And got that nice suede on the toe box. That's really good quality. Um, the shoe, lots and lots and lots of boost on these joints. I wonder are these really comfortable? I'm definitely gonna try them on. Um, got that Adidas logo on the back of the joints. Hold on, let me see if I can focus that in for you guys. Got that joint right there. So I got that Adidas. Hold on, let's see. What else we got going on? What else we got going on? Hold on, focus up, baby. Focus up. Hold on. Bottom of the shoe. Yo, it's not bad, man. Not bad at all. Hold on. All right, back to the shoe. Now, the shoe is pretty dope itself. So, on the bottom of the shoe, you got this ivory all on the bottom with these gray hits right here. I don't know what type of traction pattern this is, but it does have boost like all over the place. Got the Adidas stripes here. Got this thing right here. You know what this reminds me of? When people was doing that funky little thing to their uh, Yeezys or whatever and making it look kind of like calls. I don't know. I could probably can put a picture somewhere to see if I can show you guys, show you guys what I'm talking about. But nice tongue here also um, has that Adidas branding there. Not too much Ivy Park branding in the inside of the shoe. It's uh, really thin. It's just like, I guess it's like a, I don't know, it's really thin. So it's like a real light shoe. This material here is kind of like, uh, kind of like windbreaker material, but it's really like heavy duty, so it's not like really thin. Ah, and there we go. Looking at the shoe, I finally found some of that Ivy Park branding, so it's really there, really subtle. You can't really tell. Let me see if I can focus that in for you guys. Yeah, so if you see it right there, got that Ivy Park branding right there. Hits of maroon and orange on the lacing system, which is pretty dope. So I'm guessing um, the way you put the, when you put your foot in, you just pull this here, and you pull the tag there to tighten up the shoe. Hmm, I don't know, man. I think this shoe is pretty dope, man. Not bad at all, you know, as far as like the collaborations. Um, as far as like my opinion on like, was this the right time to get this done? You know what I'm saying? Anytime that you can get Beyonce on your team, I think it's the right time. But I just think that, I guess, they moved a little uh, late with this one. Now the materials on this shoe is great great shoe this shoe itself is already a good shoe i already like the night jogger so i already think that's dope um i wonder are these hits of 3m on here we know the 3m is here and here but let me go ahead and look inside 
look and see, put the light on these joints to see if that's 3M also. So yeah, we got a 3M hit here. It's not really on the, the stripes or anything like that, but it is a hit of 3M here, not so much, and hits of 3M inside the laces. You know what I mean? You probably can't tell with me even putting that light on here, but I can really see it. The shoes are fresh, man. Fresh. Now, as far as like sizing is concerned, the night jogger, it comes in men's sizing. So I'm not even sure if this is like a dedicated woman's shoe inside of a uh, Beyonce's Ivy Park brand. But the other one that she did wear, like all the photos that she was wearing, it's kind of like um it has like the thick gum sole now that is a woman's shoe and if you even try to buy it it's a it has women's sizing so you know it's a women's shoe so the night jogger is not a women's shoe it is a unisex shoe for men and women and the other one is just a women's shoe but let's go ahead throw these things on feet see how they look on feet i don't have the best outfit but i'm gonna go ahead and put something on maybe put on some gray sweats or whatever to rock these to let you guys see how they look uh my subscriber did get these from uh stock x yeah so let's go ahead let's try them on um yeah let's do it let's go there right about now So we're back. How did you guys like that on feet? Yo, uh, I think this is a pretty cool shoe. Um, again, I think that Adidas waited too late to get this deal done. Um, I think, actually, what it is, it's not that Adidas waited too long. I think the brand, Ivy Park brand, is not what it was. You know, when it first came out, I know a lot of ladies was going crazy about it. I know my wife, she was going crazy about it. She had to have Ivy Park. She even bought like a whole bunch of Ivy Park like pants and shirts and things like that. And you know, she really likes the brand, right? But I think, I think that comes with um, people being fans of Beyonce. Now look, I know what I'm saying might upset the Beehive, but I don't want no smoke. I don't want no smoke with the Beehive. I think I live with one of the members. I don't want no problems okay so anyway are you guys feeling the shoe um did you pick this up right now it is on stock x it's on stock x for the low so you could get a pair pretty much at retail if you wanted a pair this shoe as far as like being in my collection it won't be in my collection oh man i didn't even show that it does have ivy park branding in the inside of the shoe right so that's pretty dope also yeah 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 so dope shoe in my opinion i like the night jogger in general um the lacing system is a little funky for me um so i definitely wouldn't be getting getting them because you know i hate these uh these weird lacing systems especially when it's hard to lace up this one it's definitely not hard to lace up it definitely feels good on feet as far as sizing is concerned so i am a true nine if i do get a nine and a half it doesn't fit too big but this one it kind of does feel kind of big man the shoe is kind of bulky in my opinion you know what i mean so i think if a woman was going to get this shoe i definitely think they should be getting the ones with the gum bottom around because it's a slimmer fit it looks like a slimmer fit i don't know because i haven't had the shoe in hand nor have i tried it on but that's all i got to say about that are you guys rocking with this do you like it will you get it inside your collection uh for any of the women that's watching which pair do you like more? Do you like this pair? I'll put a picture of the maroon pair here and the other pair that I'm talking about right here. 
tell me what you guys think. Which pair do you like? You know what I mean? I'm really curious about that. Thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for rocking with me. It's day whatever of the COVID-19. Yo, the people out here, I don't even know what to say, man. It's just a lot going on out here, man. And I'm just hoping that, you know, I, I want to go back outside, you know. Yeah, man. Just be safe, man. I'm praying that everybody is safe. Everybody is being taken care of and taking care of themselves. Do your due diligence. You know, if they tax you to stay home, yo, stay home. Just for a little bit. We on punishment right now. You know, we turned up. We be too turned. I know here in Chicago, it was 55 degrees a couple days ago. People was at the beach and everything. Mayor Lightfoot had to shut it down. She said, I'm shutting it down. I'm shutting it down. You know what I mean? She shut, uh, she shut everything down. So now I can't even go out and get my pictures that way. I want to get them. I can't go do the dopest on beats in the game unless I'm outside just doing it in front of my crib. And, you know, you know I me, mean? I'm, try I'm trying to do it in. You know what I'm talking about? But anyway, holla at you guys next time. Thanks for rocking with me. Peace. Myself, out the game. No time soon.